Hey guys, it's me Wargos here, and I'll be showing you guys how to get a lot of gold fast and easy. Um, this is like six months late for my other video, and the old one I guess is probably outdated in the matchmaking chain. So here's this one. So I have a level one Kosek, level one Malot. You could use a Gal Punisher if you want. Then I have the Geopard. Level 4, um, 2 level 5 Magnums, and 1 level 3 Cal Punisher. And then just level 1 Destroyer, level 2 Punisher. Level 1 Code Sack, level 1 Punisher. Level 1 Code Sack, level 2 Punisher. I guess there's other ways to do this. You could use like a level 1 Geopard, um, and 2 level 3 Magnums with 1 level 3 Punisher. But what you don't want to have is the, um, third magnum right here or else you'll go up a level in like the matchmaking tier thing so there it goes so from the start I'm just gonna use the geopard and basically use this bot to um cause it's really fast and could do a lot of damage and your main goal is Getting the most beacons on the team and the most damage. So I'm just gonna go for this beacon right here. Let's see. And there's some other people who know this method too, so. And they're using it, so I might face another Geopard. So I'm just gonna corner check. Okay, another Geopard. Crap. I will most likely win this fight right here because he only has Punishers while so I have Magnums and Magnums just w do way more damage. Oh my gosh, can't aim. This guy's probably like level 6 Geopard. It's taking so long to kill it. There you go, first Geopard dead. Okay, this guy's trying to shoot me. Okay. So I'm going to target this guy right here. Because he's probably the one with the most experience and I want to get him down. Let's see. It's another Geopard. He's just knowing that he's behind there. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Okay, this guy's coming back around. Target this guy. Okay, he's back in. Shoot this friend. There you go, that guy's dead. And this guy coming back around, so I'm gonna shoot him a couple times. Probably gonna go back and cover. Perfect timing, this guy just came out, he's dead. And my the next time I get um a thousand like two hundred fifty or something like that, I'm probably gonna buy another Geopard. But I bought like the Galhan or like plant or the cheapest um night robot thing. I'm not upgrading that. Because of this guy right here, the matches are going to take a little bit longer. Because he knows what he's doing. Kind of. And he could aim good, so. And I'll be doing another match after this. This guy's like. Not active. Okay, let's get this guy. 
And the thing that damages you the most basically is the um AT sparrows. Not really the Malots. Because you could like easily dodge the Malots, but AT spiral different. I'm gonna shoot this guy down. That has so many dots. Uh See, and that little bit of 3k damage add up real quick. I'm basically already dead. I'm dead. So, but right now the game's basically over. And I'm just gonna use the Cossack. So I can get up there quick. The game's basically over. And I think I have the most beacons. I definitely have the most damage, I'm sure of that. But I'm trying to capture this last beacon before the time runs out. Trying to get this guy to move off the beacon. Okay, and I can capture it. Oh, he's going back to it. Okay, we win. Okay, so I didn't get the most um, beacons, obviously. So. Then just check this guy. Oh, level 1? So this guy's using level 1 stuff. You see, I'm facing players with only level 1 bots and weapons. So I'm in like the lowest tier. And yeah. There you go. So I'll be doing another one. Let's see. Oh, and missions. They're really good for getting gold if you're like you don't have any time. So like easy. 60 gold right there. Claim that. If I win one more battle, I get another 30 gold. Let's get a start one. Okay, again, start off with the Geopard. And I'll say this again, your goal is the most beacons and the highest damage. So right now, I'm just going to go for beacons more. Because that last game, I just went for damage, basically. So I'll be getting this beacon right here. And I'm going to go for that one, then maybe the far one over there. And by looking at their name tags, you could usually tell if they're like more like experienced or like, you know, they've been playing the game for a while. This guy had so, and he's just running around. So I'm letting him go do that. Okay. There are so many Cossacks here. Okay, this guy's dead. He just ran right into me. So I can just uh, capture this beacon. So I have three beacons on right now. This guy's dead. I'm gonna capture that beacon. First, I'm gonna just go destroy this guy. I don't know what he's doing. Just back up into the beacon. Okay. I can go after this guy. So I think I have four beacons right now, and I think that's enough for now. Now I can start doing some damage. Okay, so there are um, spawn points, like right around here. So, stick around here. Oh, and these things. 
you want to get right next to them, and it's really hard to, for them to fire and hit you when you're like right next to them. And you want to strafe, but yeah, that guy's dead. I don't think he could have got a clear fire anyway, even though if he did shoot. But he had uh, um, ammo. I don't think they noticed I'm right behind them. Oh, that guy did. Let's take care of this guy. Oh, he's around. So when shooting someone, you really want to strafe and always be moving, so you're not an easy target. And don't run like backwards, you want to run side to side. Okay, look, 10 gold. In like what four minutes, maybe five minutes per match. So if you do it right, you get ten gold for every five minutes. So it's a lot of gold. So you're done. Get your missions. Like every single day, you want to do your missions. Like they're important. And then after this video, I'm gonna be putting on my medium robots to get these missions done. But I won't be recording that. So, hopefully this method works for you guys, and um, like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos.